Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Bluetooth on off switch missing on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now I will be sharing five effective solutions that you need to apply one by one. And if this works for you guys, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. And still, if you have any issues, then please let me know in the comment section. The very first thing that I would recommend you that you should run some kind of a scan to try to restore the health of your PC or your laptop and also to find some integrity violation that will be automatically get fixed because such kind of infection can also uh, create problem with your devices. On your Windows 10 search box, click on it, type CMD and then choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. Now here we have to run two different commands. The first one will be SFC space forward slash scan now hit enter. Now this command will take some time. So what we can do, we can minimize it, proceed with the next troubleshooting step. And once this will be completed, we can apply the second command. So just minimize it. And now in the next step, you have to make sure that all kind of Bluetooth services are running from your Windows services. Again, click on the search box, type here services. From the suggestion, choose services app. The services box will now be up. Now here you have to go to the B section. So press B, B as in Bravo and look for Bluetooth services. So let's say that in my end, I see three kind of Bluetooth services. Okay, so you have to make sure that all three of them are working. They are running. So let's click on the first one that is Bluetooth audio gateway service. Double click on it. Now you can see that this service has been stopped. Now in the startup type, you have to choose the action to automatic. Then click on start. And even if the service is running, but the startup type has been set to manual, then you have to stop the service, choose the startup type to automatic and then restart the service. OK, once done, click apply, then click on OK. Again, you will find Bluetooth support service here. Double click on it. This service is also stopped. Now we have to choose the startup type to automatic, then start the service. Then click on apply and then on OK. Now the last one is Bluetooth user service, double click on it, choose the startup type to automatic, then click on start, then click on apply and then on OK. If you get such message, you can ignore it, then you can close it. Once you are done, you can just close this box and check back if the command is completed. You can see the command is completed and it says Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation. Probably on your end, you may get some different messages like some integrity violation was found and were automatically fixed. OK, now the next command, the, again, both the command you will find in the description, you can copy and paste here. So paste the second command here, then hit enter. And this will again take some time so we can minimize it. And let's move with the next troubleshooting steps. Now you also need to update your driver, your Bluetooth driver. So just make a right click on the windows icon and from the list choose device manager. The device manager box will be up here. You have to look for the Bluetooth. Now, in case if you do not find the Bluetooth here in the device manager, then I have already created a video that you will find in the description. Just watch that video and fix this problem and then you can get back to this video again. OK, only for the people who do not find the Bluetooth option here. Now, once you double click on Bluetooth, you will see the Bluetooth uh, device uh, listed here. It can be mostly by the name of Intel wireless Bluetooth. So once you come here, right, make a right click on it and choose update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. Now, if you get this message, the best driver for your device are already installed. Then you have to go with another method. But if it automatically get updated, then you have to go back and check that if the problem is fixed. And if not, if you get the same message, then click on close. Again, make a right click on it. Choose update driver. Choose browse my computer for drivers. 
then here you will find let me pick from a list of available drivers click on it and now here you have to pick a date probably you see two of them it can be one or it can be three so choose any one of them uh, with the latest date so i find this one like uh, the second one so you have to click on it then click on next and then it will install the drivers once you are done close it now again come to this intel wireless bluetooth make a right click on it choose disable device then click on yes wait for some time again make a right click on it and choose enable device now after doing this what you have to do you just need to restart your computer but before that make sure that this command has been completed okay so you can see the operation completed successfully so it says the restore operation completed successfully so you can close this box close everything now restart your pc and check back that the bluetooth on off switch is back or not and still if not then what else you can do you can create a shortcut that will be helping you to access your bluetooth open your file explorer the yellow folder then you have to go to this pc then on local disk c here you have to look for the windows folder double click on it and then you have to look for system 32 so keep scrolling down until you find system 32 here it is double click on it now on the very right side you will see a search box click on it and here you have to type f s q u i r t and then you will be getting this icon fsquirt.exe make a right click on it and then you have will be getting an option of send to here it is and then you can send to your desktop click on desktop now and now you will see that the bluetooth icon is here if i double click on it you can see that i can send file i can receive file so this is a temporary solution in case nothing works for you then what you can do you can go with this option to at least access your bluetooth so that's all guys for today hopefully you will get the solution from here and still if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section and if this worked for you do not forget to like please subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future till then take care bye bye